Welcome to the Puzzle Monster channel. In this video, we are going to look at a trick that can be used to mentally work out the trigonometric ratios for basic angles. For this trick, we are going to use our hand. I am pretty sure this trick will come in handy when you are in your examination room. Alright, this is your hand and I am going to mark basic angles in each finger from right to left. So here, 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. And I number the fingers as well from right to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now let's say you have to work out sine of 30 degrees. Alright, this is the finger for 30 degrees. Now we count the fingers to the right from here. We have one finger. Then take the square root of 1 which is also 1 and divide it by 2. This is the answer. Pretty cool, huh? Now let's find cosine of 30 degrees. When we find the cosines, we count the fingers to the left from here, which is 3 in this case. Then we take the square root of 3 and divide it by 2. This is the answer. See, it's a pretty simple trick. Alright, now let's find the sine of 0 degrees. So this is the finger. Since this is sine, we count the fingers to the right, but there is none. So 0 and divided by 2 is 0. Let's find the cosine of 0 degrees. This side is 4 cosine and there are 4 fingers. Now we take the square root which is 2 and divide it by 2. So it's 1. Let's go for the last example. Sine of 45 degrees. So 2 fingers to this side. Now take the square root and divide it by 2. Alright. Next, cosine of 45 degrees. There are only two fingers to this side. Take the square root and divide it by 2. Pretty cool, huh? Now you may be thinking, how do we get tan? It's fairly simple too. You know tan equals to sine over cos, right? So as long as you know the sine and cos, you can get the tan. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this cool trick and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Cheers.